everybody. We're outside again. We're in this beautiful area of the Addison Historical Museum. It's the backyard, if you want to call it that. But we feature this beautiful tree. This is a Japanese... Japanese maple. Maple. Yes. And I've learned that we have a plaque to Barbara Rotundo, who was a landscape artist. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about her, Jeanette. Okay. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, Barbara Rotondo was a member of the Addison Historical Society. She was a, an Addison resident, mm -hmm. and she was employed by Schwarz Nursery over uh -huh. at Army Trail okay. and 53. Uh -huh. And um, she was asked to design the garden here uh, surrounding the museum buildings. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have a, the results of her work here. It shows. It's beautiful. It's Look at this tree. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love with this tree. Underneath this tree, is a plaque that honors the Kinderheim, which right. is so much a part of Addison's history. So we're gonna reveal it to you right now. <laughs> we're gonna try to make it snowed. And if the camera can get in there, we have this wonderful plaque from the Kinderheim. Actually, this sign was above the front door of the Kinderheim. Uh -huh. And the Kinderheim was located in Addison, actually, pretty close to the spot where our uh, village hall is today. Ah. And it was a home for children. Um, the children lived there and they were also educated there. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and these children were children without parents. This is correct. Okay. Or they came, they were children who were actually wards of the Chicago courts. Ah. And um, they came from families where perhaps the mother was ill okay. or there was poverty and the parents could not take care of the children. Okay. Okay. So they were taken care of by a Lutheran organization. Right. Right here in Addison. Right. Right. <laughs> Actually, the work continues at Lutherbrook, uh, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a facility over on Lake Street that is continuing the work of the Kinderheim. Right. That was yeah. here. I really think the residents of Addison need to understand the influence of the Lutheran, yes. uh, the Lutheran faith and, and the followers of the Lutheran religion and the impact they've had on our history. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we did have three Lutheran um, facilities right here in Addison, the Kinderheim, which we were talking about, and uh -huh. then also there was a Lutheran orphan home and a Lutheran teacher's seminary. Ah. Uh, right. A, within a, a block away from yeah. our museum. Yeah, how things so. have changed. So Jeanette, do you have any idea when this moved here? Uh, this this actually was probably placed here, I would say probably in the year 2000, which is when okay. our museum moved to this site. Okay, and so. are there not other markers on village grounds that yes. are from the Kinderheim? Yes, actually we have an arch uh, mm -hmm. located right at the intersection of Army Trail Road and May Street. Okay. Um, it's at the southeast corner of Village Hall. Uh -huh. And that um, is made up of the uh, cornerstone and the bricks and the window sills that were uh, part of the Kinderheim building. That's really amazing. Right. Part of our garden includes this, um, this entrance to the coach house because it's in the back of the museum. Sometimes our residents don't always understand what's going on. Help me understand what's in the building, how it moved here, or is it an original? Well, actually it was moved here. Um, this The building that we are looking at used to uh, stand at 127 East Lake Street uh -huh. behind the uh, Balzer residence, uh, which is now our historical museum. Ah, mm -hmm. And uh, actually this building was moved to this site in 1999. Mm -hmm. It was actually placed on a truck and pulled down Lake Street. Yay. Um, I wish I had been here to see it. We have some, mm -hmm. if people are interested in that, we have some really neat photos of that taking place. Uh -huh. Um, Besides the usual Saturday morning and afternoon, 10 to 2, we also have Wednesday afternoons from 1 to 3, and Thursday evenings from 6 to 8, and that's in conjunction with all of the other village activities that occur on Thursday nights. So come on down, folks. Don't stay away. 